Hi, I'm John Flynn. This is Cobbly Advertising, and today we're going to talk about the crisis in hiring nurses and why that's a very, very good thing. Why is the crisis of hiring nurses or finding nurses a very, very good thing? Because it's going to change the way you think. Because you've been thinking horribly wrong. <laughs> Hospitals, medical centers, you guys are the worst. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just painful. It's painful to work with you. It's painful. It's just painful. Okay? You really got to look at this differently. Okay? This is a great opportunity. All right? You have to throw the old tools out the window. You know, I read an article about a hiring uh, agent in one medical center and she said that she uh, has people come on six interviews. Six! And the uh, person interviewing said by all reports that, you know, any nurses, you know, obviously are not going to stand for six interviews and she's probably losing the best nurses after the second interview. Uh, and the nurses she's even getting on the sixth interview probably are, are you know, have been underperforming in the marketplace. That's why they're tolerating you to interview them six times. And she says, I don't care. <laughs> I'm still filling the bodies. How many tens of thousands of dollars did that cost you? Okay, first you're hiring somebody who's horrible. Second, they'll probably leave. Third, it's cost you tens of thousands of dollars to train somebody and tens of thousands of dollars of that wouldn't be productive if you hired a really good nurse. So you're just bleeding money and giving poor patient care. There, you hit the, you hit the trifecta. Congratulations. Okay, for the rest of you out there, <laughs> that are still with me, it's good news. Why? Okay, so we're losing the older nurses because they're retiring who are making a huge amount of money. Good for them. They're retiring. They made a huge amount of money. Right? Good service. Good for them. Now, the younger nurses are not as fixated on salary as the previous generation. They want quality of life. Right? They want something, they, they're forward thinking. They want stuff to make them better. They want to work for a high class facility that has a great program that they could participate, participate in, okay? Not like be bottom rung, right? They could work with the other nurses, you know? And then, you know, something that would actually have a promotional track, you know, that they could see the going forward and then help them finish their education. So it's like, you know, if they have two years to go to get to the next level, you know, it's a little tuition reimbursement or some, you know, hours, staggered hours or whatever. But being a partner, partner, in that kind of relationship, relationship, and make an okay salary, or good salary, okay? They're not looking for a briefcase of money, okay? And that's it, they're looking for all these things. And what's the great news about all these things? They're a lot cheaper than the briefcase of money. A lot cheaper. You're saving money and you're getting better nurses. I know that's hard to get in there. Listen to me, you're saving money and getting better nurses. And your corporate culture is going to be better. And they're going to be recruiters for you because they're going to be like, Hey, Joe's Hospital is great. They gave me bop, 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 and bop. Really like it, Dan. I'm learning a lot. They're helping me go to, uh, you know, class. And, uh, you know, uh, I feel like a great camaraderie with my other nurses. And we're learning a lot, working with the doctors and everything. And it's a great experience. And it's a prestigious hospital. And da, 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 da. There. <laughs> That's what you do. You use a mobile marketing campaign. We geofence the other hospitals. We have demographic information of who the nurses are, how old they are, how, where they live. You know, are they homeowners? Are they rental? Do they have children? Are they have families? How much is the household income is? All that stuff we got. We got all that stuff. <laughs> when we do that, we set a radius around your hospital and then we retarget everybody. We bring, we, if they see the ad, we put it in an impression folder. If they click on the ad or engagement and go to a home page, your home page, right? Then we put that ID in a retargeting folder, which we send out another round of impressions when we get a, a significant amount of retargeting IDs. And that has 2 to 16 times click-through rate than the regular campaign, right? 
And then your homepage also has a Facebook pixel. We send everything over to the Facebook. We do a Facebook retargeting program so they see it on their phone and on their Facebook. It's a double hit. And then when we have enough retargeting things in their, in their number in their retargeting program in Facebook, we put it through a lookalike model and then we use the million data points that Facebook can match it up and we can have two million, two million Facebook IDs that match up the demographic you're looking for. And then take that and drill that back down to your geolocation. Oh, I know, yes, please, yeah, take an Indeed.com ad. <laughs> Because that's, oh, they get on the phone with you and like, oh, oh yeah, no, this is, you're going to get lots of candidates. Yeah, you're going to get crappy candidates. They're going to be walking out in six months. We're going to build a short-term, long-term funnel. Okay, you're going to figure out, figure out your short-term candidates, and then we're going to keep the program going on the retargeting level, and then it's going to be a long-term that's going to build up, and that way when you need more nurses two, three months down, you just reach down there and you grab them because you're going to be sending out quality content. You know, what nurses want, you know, what, what, the, what the profile of nurses, what your facility's doing for young nurses, over and over and over and over again. Cheap, 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 and long term. Don't fall into this crap anymore. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it for you. Come on, people, come on. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. We've had the same thought process since the Eisenhower administration. No, it's hard. We've got to move forward. Okay? Because if you don't move forward, that guy down the street's going to move forward. Right? And I'll be working for him. All right? <laughs> yeah. You don't want that happening. Let me tell you that right now. So, you know, everybody's in the same boat. No nurses. No nurses. So what are you going to do? Are you going to use the old ways or are you going to use my way? One month. One month, and I'll fix it. John Flynn, copy advertising.